it's just different.
it's just different. gonna head to the field both teams are in and they start joining immediately we have number six ball chasers versus second ranked bomb IGL tier 6 division 22 there's a lot of players out there in the in the east get situated here there we go and spectate faithful pheasant he doesn't care it's november he's ready for christmas two undefeated it's five and oh it's more than just undefeated bragging rights here it's it's playoff seeding swings it touches out <laughs> he my Roy, royce faithful pheasant coming around he's gonna have to deal with alucard Who's in the net? Then 50. Coming on. Emi Royce beats the last man. And they try to walk it in. But Unruly Puffin, captain of the ball chasers, helps out. Swoops in for some late but welcome defense. Red Dragon trying to keep it alive. Emi Royce tries to cross it. Gets bumped by a teammate. Still crossing, unruly puff, puff in, sorry. Puts it through. High, no ceiling touch. Pheasant looking. Red Dragon dunks him. Puts it towards the goal. Might all with a clear. <laughs> Eat my Royce. Coming around. Red Dragon sneaking up. Fennec looking sharp. Pheasant up high, touches out, orange corner. Midal touches, goes out wide. Red Dragon coming off the wall, meets Faithful Pheasant immediately. They're going, just kind of drive it around. But Eat My Roy's is done with the driving around. He's ready to put points on the board. He takes his time. And then just hops it, beats two defenders, one being Mital Bomb is in it.
Milo with a nice win. We'll try to finish. He needs a shooter. He'll get one and it'll sneak in. Unruly Puffin. Captain of Ball Chasers comes and helps out Milo. Milo beats two defenders after the clean face off. One another defender misses and it's tied up immediately right at the three minute mark on the dot. Let's see here, Alucard. Nothing much there. Pheasant waited for his touch. Doesn't doesn't mind that one. Dragon meets Midal. Alucard coming up. Let's see what he has off the wall. Doesn't quite want it. Midal 50s. Pheasant ready to touch. Corner bouncing around. Another touch. First demo of the game. Mother trucker, dude. Midal with almost. Wins again, but now it's a breakaway play for Bomb. No pass comes from Red Dragon. Keep my Roy's coming around. 50 on the wall. Dragon gets the best of it. Decent shot, but it goes wide. Puffin. He's unruly. No touch. Pheasant. Puts it on. Unruly Puffin gets out of the way of the shot. Putting the pressure on. Fakes Dragon outside the net. Vital and Pheasant up. Pheasant will get credit. 2-1. Under two minutes. More than halfway done with game one. It is the best of five series. Faithful Pheasant. Nice 50. Alucard, catch it in back. Demo there. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Pheasant touches, comes around. Roy's nice touch. Picks up side field 100. Puffin coming around. Goes at the goal. Ill-advised touch. Red Dragon gets around two defenders, but goes out a little too wide. Oh, he had a shot. There we go, dropping down. Puffin puts it out, squeezes it across, no shooter, just a ton of defenders. Alucard battling, ball gets over him, 50s through, good touch. Both teams racing to the ball, no touch from Midal, but Red Dragon flies all over it. Roy's a nice cross, but a heads up play from Midal. Which is a sentence I thought I'd never say. But here we are. Touch. Dragon. Puts it up. He's got boost to work with. Midal keep pressures, <laughs> keeps pressure on. Which is also a bit of an oxymoron. Faithful Pheasant. Coming around. Loses the ball on the wall. Midal puts it out with a long goal. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. The sniper's got talent. To put his team up, two goals, crosses, no shooter. Midal will take full advantage. Sorry, there was a shooter. I didn't catch who that was. There was a shooter. He's just a little too far on the play. Midal, Midal beats him there. 3-1. Midal, face-off. Clean win on the face-off. Alucard. Ball goes over him. Keep my Roy's. He's battling. Still orange corner. 10 seconds, that should be it for game one. Let's see this wind down here. Pops up high. Red Dragon, flying. No go. The ball chasers strike first. The, the technical underdogs, again, if you want to get technical, um, but it's just tiebreakers at that point. There's, there's really six teams in Division 22 that are 5-0, and oh, Ball Chasers being the last, obviously. But here we go, Midal, 480, a goal, assist, the save, doing it all. Seven shots from them as a team. Emi Roy's with the save and a goal, but not, not much assistance there from, from his teammates. Alucard, I didn't call his name too much, and you see it there, 70 points, trying to play the support role, but nothing ever came to fruition as far as him contributing in a, in a big way. So we'll see here. Both teams should be ready to go. I'll get
get in the spectate. A dragon gets the hundred in the corner. Pheasant goes out. Eat my Roy. He gets past him. Alucard with the save. With that one save, he might have matched his point output from game one. So something to build on. He's battling. He wins a 50 and goes for the net. He gets a save and a shot. Let's see if his teammates help him out, but they leave it. And Midol, we've seen him. He could be pretty lethal from, from the length of the field. Serves it up for his captain, Puffin. Alucard getting back. Red Dragon. Let's see what he has off the wall. We've seen the dragon fly before. It's crossing. Puffin. Can't get it past. Eat my Roy's. Nice shot there from Roy's. Dragon up. It's flying. Nothing happens. Midol coming for it all. Pops straight up. Who wants it? It's the flying pheasant. Looking faithful as ever. Comes around. Dragon goes in the corner. Comes out. Drops down. Roy's. Put in it. There's a goalie there. Midol comes off wisely. It was his captain Puffin. Nice 50 there, Midol. Doesn't want the ball quite yet. Two members of Bomb go up. It's going to be a 50 here. Goes straight across. Nice prevention there. Faithful Pheasant clears out. Alucard. Puts it on. Midal drops it. This is shootable. I see Dragon in the air. Royze will jump in front of his captain and finish it up. Faithful Pheasant says no problem. Yeah, Midal put it down. Looks like he wanted it to go to Pheasant. Bomb is up. First lead of the series. Midal, nice win. Red Dragon. Up. Pheasant will take possession. Orange corner gets past Alucard. Dragon helps pinch out. Puffin on it immediately. Good play by him. Way to stay heads up. Midol up, puts it back in that orange corner. I think it seems like they like setting up plays from there. And to be fair, it did cross, but no, no shot came. Pheasant touches. Dragon goes out. Midol. Up, around, bats Alucard, one man to beat, it's Royce, he's going to take his time, pick, miss the 100 in the corner, and 50 on the wall. Puffin and Pheasant, on the ball, 50 through. Touch over. And this one may roll in, it's wide. Shooter, not quite, both miss. Pheasant, well he had an open net, but he goes out. To the left. Midol still puts it to the goal. Might finish his own pass. Not quite. Puffin can't reach. A wacky turn of events there. Not a lot of back and forth. None of it necessarily intentional. Royce sends it at the goal. Bomb enjoying a 1-0 lead. Pheasant touches. Gets past. It's enough. He's racing down the field. He wants that corner 100. He gets it. Tries the cross, but comes off the wall. A little awkward. Doesn't get it to go. Nice touch over from Faithful Pheasant. I, I said it before, but, you know, people <laughs> people in the chat are going to be mad. at. They're going to say that we're not at Thanksgiving yet. They're going to say the antlers are a little premature. I'm fine with it. Puffin. Goes to the corner. Not sure his boost situation. Tosses it to Pheasant. Pheasant plays. Alucard. Sends it up the wall. Eat by Royce. Comes from nowhere. Flying at it. No go. Touch. Red Dragon. Touching. Eat my Royce. All players from Bomb on that side over there. Gets past Midol. Who had a big game one. A lot of missing outside the blue net. Royce touches. Midol, he's been quiet. He might tie it up right here. Can't quite finish. Man, that looked good. 40 seconds. That would have been nice for Midol. Nothing happens. Puffin loses the 50. Alucard wins. And like I said, Alucard, Alucard started this 
this game too. A lot quicker, a lot more involved, and it's showing. Even those 50 wins matter in close matchups like this. Might all touches. Roy's ceiling down. Touches Pheasant out. They're running out of time here. I'm not sure they, they're, they're quick enough to travel the length of the field. They're still battling on their end. Trying to prevent a shot that'll touch the turf. And we have a tie series 1-1. Is the best of five. Eat my Roy's 268, a goal, three shots from him. And and not much. Just you know, a goal win. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. So let's see. Anyone's series right now. Faithful Pheasant 281, the leader of of his squad in points. I'll go on a spectate quick. These teams both seem eager. To get back to the action. Zero's on the board. Game three. No one can win it here. Scrub Lord says, there's that soundboard I love. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to add some new ones before playoffs, but I'm kind of... Strapped for time as of late. Pheasant, he wanted it on the on the net. Oh, and the ball chasers, you know, staying true to their name. They're just working against themselves. There's two free free reigns on the orange net, and they got expelled by by the ball chasers themselves. Balbo, what's going on, man? What up? We got uh, two undefeateds going. 5-0-5-0. Tier six. Div 22, it's competitive. Just hanging out with these guys. Series tied 1-1. Midal puts it up. Any Anyone's game, obviously. Midal goes up. Red Dragon coming around. He meets the Pheasant. Back to Midal. He hops. Roy's, Roy's back flipping. Trying to stay in the play. Now Pheasant's working it. Coming out of the corner. Scrub Lord, what rank are these guys? I think I, I don't know the tiers too well. Uh, someone in the chat might be able to help, but this should be like gold, perhaps? Maybe platinum? But I, I think it might be gold. Uh, might all coming around. Going up. And I don't mind. I mean, as long as both teams are uh, evenly... Evenly skilled, it, it makes for a good matchup. I mean, everyone's gonna try their best, do what they can do. The Red Dragon trying to put his team up on the board first. Last time they got a lead, they didn't let let it go. They carried it the they carried it the rest of the game, puffing. You know, aside from Midal, it seems like we have some slightly flightless birds. Pheasant working it, puffing. No touch. You know, but between Pheasant's Feathers and his Reindeer Antlers, he should be able to fly as Red Dragon has some fire on that one. Where is he coming from here? Midfield. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. Yeah, Puffin just wasn't ready for it. Scrub Lord says both 5-0, very competitive. Yeah. Yeah, and I, what's crazy, I'm not I'm not sure if you're just joining us, but in this division, uh, Division 22, there's six teams that are 5-0. Scrublord says, nothing on my queens. <laughs> Probably not. Alucard, waiting. He's patient. Red Dragon. Let's see. This, this, uh, this lead might favor Bomb. Coming around. Red Dragon touching. Scrub Lord, what time, what time is it over there? I was telling a co-worker about the cast. Demo! <laughs> He's already dead! But I wasn't really sure about our time difference. Midal waiting patiently in his own net. Comes out, good, clear, bounces out. Who wants it? Red Dragon up. Puffing out. 
Going around. Scrublord is up at 2.20 a.m. What a mad lad. Coming around and Midal sneaks it in. This Midal is depended on more than once a month. Believe that. Passes to himself. He had a shooter, but does it himself anyway. That was legitness. One, one. I'm on afters at work, so just home. I feel you, I feel you. It's coming on. Appreciate you hanging out. Should be a good one. It crosses. Puffin not in time for that one. Midal fights through 50 crossing. Dragon. Makes a good save there. Won't be credited. Alucard pops it up. Anyone's ball. Midal puts it even higher out of reach. Who wants it? Puffin. Bounce from a Puffin to a Dragon. Puff the magic Dragon. Midal goes wide. Dragon good clear. It's just Pheasant back there. Shadowing touches. Smart play. Fights through. It's going to be shootable. I see Puffin there. Nice shot. 2-1. Two one ball chasers united. Captain unruly puffin goes up two one. Does his team puffin on? He's moving fast. He's feeling himself. A bullet at blue net, but pheasants waiting there patiently. A puffin almost put more points on. Let's see, you know, they they have a goal lead, but they've got really aggressive demo there. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Coming around. Eat my Royce. Going. Wall. Touches out. No touch there. This is shootable tie game. Alucard just patient enough. Puts it down. Pheasant can't handle it. Went behind him. Alucard says, I can handle it. Watch me. And we're tied to all. Alucard still looking fast. Will's on fleek. No touch from Red Dragon. Got faked off. Royce keeps it on blue end. Midal, 10 seconds. We'll see if we have... A late game finisher here. Alucard goes for the cross, but meets a ton of opposition. Touching, and we're down. We'll get our first overtime of the series. Only took three games. Face off, Midal's quick. Royce plays it well. Touches, Midal. <laughs> Midal. Keeping pressure, puffing. Decent clear, a little high, gonna be hard to handle, but Royce does touch. Attaches to the wall. Alucard just rolls one, testing the water. Pheasant clears. Coming around. Fights through. Do we have a shooter? Unruly Puffin, that might be a second. Says we do. And I'll put in my second goal here. Oh, like that! With the. 30 second overtime win. Ball chasers knocking on the door of a series win here. GG's from the game chat. It looks good. Captain Unruly Puffin, 428, two goals, two saves, three shots, five total from the chasers. Got Red Dragon doing his part. 326, a goal, a save. Nine shots. Nine shots from Bomb. Just. You know, five saves from ball chasers, so it's going to be hard. They walked away with two goals, but which allowed them overtime, but not enough. They couldn't keep up the pressure and the effort going into overtime. So ball chasers united are one game away from capping off an undefeated regular season and uh, improving their, their seeding in playoffs. We'll see what happens. Both captains, I believe that they're okay for a post-game interview. We should be getting that. I have another game coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern. So pretty much right after this one. Red Dragon touches. Emai Roy's no go. Alucard left in the back by himself. He's going to go back. He's patient. Midal, we know how fast he is. Over. Sneaks past. 
think that was Pheasant playing defense. It looked like he was seeing double because Royce comes around. He doesn't know who to play. He's got Dragon High, Royce even, and a long bomb. 1-0. Scrub Lord says we love a post-game interview. I, I too, but sometimes um, you, you get some shy captains or, you know, they don't. They got things to do. They get busy. But, but we'll see. It should be fine. Dragon puts it out. Bomb, their backs are against the wall. Uh, by way of tiebreakers, they, they do have... They do outrank Ball Chasers. Demo there. Puffy. Coming around. Alucard pops up. Midal. No go. Keeps pressure. Roy's can't touch. Alucard, he's got a lot of boost. Not very comfortable to touch it quite yet. Midal crossing. Touch another demo. Boom, baby! A lot of action outside that orange net. Touching more. More back and forth. Pheasant, I'm sure he wanted to get his antlers all over that one. No touch. Dragon up. Might all chase him. 50. Bomb enjoying a one point lead, but there's a lot of time left. Over three minutes and in Rocket League time, that's eons. Midal crosses, but no shooter. Looks like Unruly Puffin was working his way back, but Midal, he's he's really quick on the edges there, but just sometimes he doesn't have a shooter. Emar Roy's just a point blank snipe here. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. Too fast for Pheasant. Faithful Pheasant, he says close to a nice shot. He's giving it up. It was a good shot. That tends to happen in, in games like these. You know, you get used to a certain pace, but every now and then a player will pick up the tempo, whether it be on a, on a shot or a commit. Puffin throws it at the goal. Dragon works it out. Midal. Goes on. Rose. No, go. Good defensive effort. Dragon stays on. Bit of a double commit. Midal has a shot. And he comes off the tip of his car there. Coming around. Drop it. Pheasant wants it. And he gets it. Trying to beat the man. To the corner. He does. It drops down. Shooter. Unruly Puffin was cleaning up the rebounds outside. The opposing that in game three. In game four, he's looking to do the same. Looking to follow that formula. Nice shot. We have the fans going crazy. It's a stormy day. DFH coming around. A long bomb. This one might teardrop in. Alucard. And the cloud is raining on him after that raindrop of a shot. 3-1 bomb. Looking good. I really, really, I would expect nothing less. You know, you got two 5-0 teams that played well. Look at this guy, Midal. Covered up off the wall. Would you look at that? Absolutely filthy. And Midal has just showed that breakneck speed outside the opposing goal all series. You know, not game one, two, three, four, the whole series. He's just shown that. And uh, ball chasers have kind of used that as a, a pillar to prop up their play. You gotta use what you got. Midal gets beat on the wall. Let's see if it costs him another 50 there. Pheasant commits to it. Crosses. Shooters. No go. Alucard. Trying to give it a pass. Nothing happens. Go center field. Anyone's ball. Puffin. Puts it out. Not much spice on that touch. Royce. Touches. Midal coming up. Doesn't get a great touch. And that one almost turns into a goal four for Bomb. This one. Drops down in, four, in front of Blue Net. 
A pinch from Alucard. Goes to the other corner. Which, with the goal lead, technically Bomb can do that all day if they if they so chose. But a really puffin wins. Royce, he's got a play to make. And he does make it. Might all keeps it dangerous. Pheasant puts it out. You gotta think he was trying to get that to the orange end. Doesn't go. Midal, great touch there. Let's see who can handle it. No one quite yet. But Roy settles down, reassesses, goes back up for the touch. Seemingly a, a goal-saving touch. A, a Game-tying goal-saving touch. <laughs> Corner. Midal touches down. Alucard. Touching, touching, fighting. Save. Let's see. Under 30 seconds. Ball chases United. Gonna try to make the most of this possession. They got one man to beat. Midal tries to cross it. He just wanted it too much. Pops. Shooter. They're still battling. We're coming down to the 10 second mark. Put it out. I would not roll that in front of Midal. He is looking at that like a juicy steak. But is unable to make anything of it. And the ball hits the turf. And we are going to game five, which, you know, I got two games after this. I don't, I do not mind this at all. Let's go over this, the stat lines here. Eat my Roy's. Maybe Roy's A. I don't know if I'm saying that. If anyone's in the chat, feel free to correct me. Call me uh, the dumbest man alive. Um, 451 MVP. Two goals, four shots, seven total from Bomb. Uh, three shots from the Chasers, four saves for them. So pressure, just not quite enough. Definitely not enough or definitely not matching the same pressure that gave them that that game four or sorry, game three win. But let's see here. It's come down to this. It's not a waste of time because we got some good Rocket League out of it. But next winner takes all. Bragging rights, seeding, undefeated season, you name it. They're going to get it. And you got to imagine that the loser will still end up in the playoffs. We'll see what we have here. Touch. Puffin. Going in. Dragon coming off the wall. He'll miss. Let's see if that costs them. Now Alucard going. Royce. At the goal, eat my Roy says, eat this goal. 1-0. And he took it the whole way. He has the big clear. No touch from Midal. And just pops it through and Pheasant gets caught flat-footed in his net again. Sorry, Pheasant. Buttons. Hey, Fury, let's go. What up, Buttons? Demo there. Boom, baby. Coming around. We got Buttons in the chat. Buttons hanging out. This is trouble. If Midal's hanging around, this one might go in. Red Dragon, he takes his time. I, that would make me nervous there. Coming around. Shooter coming. Midal wants to maybe pass back. <clears throat> Buttons, who you got? You got to you gotta pick a winner now. We got two 5-0 teams in game five. Uh, obviously, Bomb is up one, but it, it's close. It's been close all series. Another shot and save. Goes out. Midal seems to be the ball chaser's power hitter. Puffing cone around. Midal up. Demo. Get him a body bag. <laughs> yeah. Dragon coming around. Not quite. Royce going. Pheasant going back to the goal. This one is still going orange side. Going, rolling from the corner. Alucard touches wisely. Midal wanted to put some pepper on that ball. No go. Pheasant gets caught playing a tad shallow there. Midal touches around. Falls to Royce. Gets past him. Puffin wanted probably a more vertical touch, but it goes uh, diagonally off his... Off the front end of his vehicle. No touch. Puffin. Trying to go. Demo there. Mother trucker, dude. Pheasant. Going. Picks up the side hundred. He's got two men to beat. And he'll beat none. 
Might all coming around. Dragon playing good, good defense in the late going here. No touch from Midal. Popped up. Grazes the ceiling. Comes back down gently. But Alucard fights off Midal and Pheasant. Touched out. Dragon. Still a lot of time. Dragon gets bumped on his nose. Flies away. Pheasant gets caught shallow again. I've seen him play a, a defensive role. I don't know if he wants to play him. This one might sneak in. Clutch touch from Alucard, who will get credited with the assist, but there's a lot of credit here. Good pop. Splits two defenders. Fe uh, Pheasant can't get to it. Eat my Roy's says, sure, I won't mind a second goal. Crowd going wild. Unruly tries to give it to his his main shooter might all Nothing drops Two minutes. I'm, I'm not sure I, I, anything can happen. You know Rocket League gets pretty crazy, but demo there Mother trucker, dude. But I, I haven't really seen ball chasers United's score in quick su su succession. Sorry um, it, it, They've been long grindy games in which they kind of stack goals uh, throughout the duration of the of the game. Let's see here, Midal coming around, and it's it's typically been off the back of Midal, whether he's crossing or shooting. He'll shoot here, one, two, puts his boys on the board for the first time in game five. Here's what it is. It all comes down to this, Midal. He's their guy. If if uh, that's what I was saying, if. If anything is going to happen in their favor, it's going to happen off, off the hood of his car. Obviously, be great for someone else to step up. Puffin has played, played well so far. <clears throat> Pheasant has had a, a decent series. Just let... Oh! Fast break! Pheasant racing! It's a foot race! And they smother Red Dragon! He's trying to shadow, and that'll tie it up. Two whiffs. We'll call them fakes. One from Dragon the Captain, he's going to hate himself for that one. And Pheasant comes from one goal to the other, finishes it off. Twos, twos. <laughs> Puffin coming off the wall, and Puffin's trying to fly. Captain of Ball Chase has been a little quiet in the late half of the series. Royce puts it out right at Pheasant's antlers. Puts it down, Puffin. Up high. Where's Midal? He could touch this. But so could Roy's almost beats two defenders. Scrub Lord says the choke. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> a bit. Touch out. We'll see. That the game's not over. It that you know, you say choke, but uh it really just tied it up. It's definitely dangerous. If Bomb loses this game, they're gonna re reminisce on the 2-0. Goal lead they had. Roy's long bomb. High. Drop down. No shooter. Two defenders. They flip the field. Alucard. Last man to beat. This one's going. Puffin can shoot. But he doesn't. It goes out. Orange corner. Midal maybe wants it a little too bad there. Because I think Pheasant wanted to come in. But Midal was still battling. The ball off. Puffin. Touches. High. Midal. Late heroics. Great save from the Dragon. Here we go. Overtime. Game 5. Week 6. Playoffs next week. Dragon. Out. Up the wall. Coming around. Corner. Shooter. Comes. Man. Unruly Puffin. Alucard. Who came out of the series quiet. Red Dragon. Gives a fiery pass. Alucard goes up. That, that take, that's bravery right there. He goes up for a, a low percentage shot, especially in the tier 6 competition. And Bomb comes away. And, you know, very well, we're kind of early in, in, in the week here. I'm not sure um, how their division's shaken out, but that might even give them the number one seed. 6-0 um, is hard to beat. Um... There was an undefeated team ahead of them, just with a, a tiebreaker, whether it's goals or win percentage. But here we go, Red Dragon, Captain, 
Uh, four saves, which they needed it because it was nine shots from the ball chasers. Let me give GG's there. Man, no one has anything to be ashamed of. Scrublord says he'll eat his words. Call it a midnight snack. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I mean, it's a choke, but it didn't put them out of the game. It flipped momentum for sure. Let's see here. Let me call the man Red Dragon. Let's see how he's feeling. There he is. Let's be a few moments here. Let's see if he'll answer. Looks like he's on phone, which is always hard to get a hold of. Red Dragon. The Red Dragon in the flesh. <laughs> Say it again? I said the Red Dragon in the flesh. In the flesh, in the scaly flesh. In the Hi scaly <laughs> flesh, that's right. <laughs> How you doing, sir? That was a crazy series you handed us. That was a, that was a good one. That was a... Uh, Scary, but good. It's good with the <laughs> game five overtime goals. So that's how we like it, though. But. Yeah, man. How uh, in, in tight games or tight series like that, I always like to ask, who's the who's the voice of reason on your team? Is it you? Do you guys swap on and off? Or, or what, do you, what do you got? Uh, usually we're all pretty good at calling the shots on each other and stuff like that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I, think I, I think I tend to play the more defensive role. So right. Uh, kind of. All that side, so yeah, you you ended that game five with four saves. I'm I'm sure you got some dents in your fennec from that. Um, oh yeah. Did you did you feel like you're on your toes the whole time? Absolutely, they were very good. Uh, right. It was, uh, the very last save we got right at the end. <laughs> yeah. the a little, little bit, but that's that's the kind of the kind of rocket league that makes a man out of you. And absolutely, we've been we've been doing pretty good this uh, league. I don't think we lost a series so far, but. And some close ones, though. No, no, that that puts you six and zero. So, congrats! You, the regular yeah. season undefeated. Um, you're the number two seed going into this. Uh, I was talking about it towards the end. That might put you uh, up to one. It just depends on how uh, the number one handles their uh, week six matchup. But that's it's exciting either way. Um, you guys are in a good spot. Mm. Who uh, who are you looking to give the the MVP or the game ball to on the series? Uh. And for my team, I would, I, I would team, give it yeah. to the, yeah, yeah, I would give it to Eat My Royce. He, uh, he kind of he came through on that one. So. Yeah, Alucard, you know, he had that, uh, that, that walk-off goal at the end there. He did. <laughs> but no, Eat My Royce, he was, he was involved the whole series for sure. Yeah, uh, so we're, we're hoping to take this all the way this year. This is our third uh, season in the, in the IGL or whatever, and, We've done a little better each time, so it's definitely our best so far. Right, so. right. How many uh, playoff appearances have you had? Uh, last season was our first playoff. We made it second round in that one. Second uh, round, okay. So this will be ours. All right, yeah. all right. A little better every time. So, Obviously, you're going to have the benefit the benefit of a, of good seed in either two or one as long as someone doesn't pass you up. I can't imagine that, though. But I, I can't believe how competitive your division is. It's crazy. And there's a lot of teams in it, too. I don't know. we got 22, 23 divisions this yeah. time. It grows every season, it seems like. So. Yeah. yeah, man. But uh, I don't, I don't want to keep you too long. i got another match coming up in about uh, 20 right. minutes. i got to set up for. But, yeah, the floor is yours. Anyone you want to shout out? Anything you want to mention? Plug? No, not really. Having a good time. Living a good life. So. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, man. Congrats. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you guys. Congrats. Huge win. Uh, good series. Keep it going. I appreciate it. You have a good time. Yeah, peace. See you. All right, that was Red Dragon. Scales and all. His team was breathing fire bomb. You know, they're averaging five, almost five goals a game going into this one. But it, it was pretty even, pretty uh, relatively low scoring. But, yeah, it, hat, hats off to them. Ball Chasers United. You were undefeated going in, and, and you you looked the role for sure, for sure. Maybe just a little over-eager in the late going. You definitely um, played to your name, Ball Chasers. You know, I can't be mad at it. <laughs> but a uh, good game, good series. Erica giving me emojis. <laughs> Buttons is hella jelly. <laughs> All right. Jericho, love, love. Chat, thanks for watching. 
We're going to keep on rolling. I don't think I'll cut the VOD. Let me see. Let me go into menu. Go into intermission. I'll give you guys some, some music. Go grab a snack because I got two more matches coming up. And we'll keep on rolling here.